Hello and welcome back. Today I am in our playroom loft upstairs cleaning up, just doing a little bit of organizing, just like an overall refresh in there. It had gotten really messy. I already had cleaned up all the toys when I started recording, but we'll just jump right into it. I moved everything off of the floors because I wanted a vacuum, but also because we just purchased our very first carpet shampooer, which I'm really excited about. It's one of those things that is kind of funny to be excited about, but as a new homeowner, it's important to us to make sure that our carpets last a long time, especially now that we have a dog who does shed. We want to make sure that our carpets are in great quality for a really long time so that whenever we do choose to sell this home, that's not going to be an issue that we have to worry about. But also, carpets get gross, and I want to make sure that we are living in a clean space. I researched a few different types of carpet cleaner and I decided on this one, which is the Bissell Turbo Clean Power Brush Pet Carpet Cleaner, which I will link in the video description below. But I picked this one because after re reading all the reviews on Target, Walmart, and Amazon, it had the best ones for the price. It's $100 plus you have to buy the solution, which was another $20. It was a good investment, I think, because compared to renting a carpet cleaner, it'll be paying for itself after a couple uses. But I do really like it. This is not sponsored, by the way. This is just me sharing my experience with it. I really like it. There's a few things that I dislike about it. One being the tank is pretty small, so you have to refill it a few times while you're using it. The other thing is that because of the dog hair and dog fur in our house, I have to a bunch of clumps of fur collecting as I'm working in the room and I kind of had to just like go through the room and pick them up which isn't like the biggest deal in the world just something to keep in mind I waited about 24 hours before I brought everything back in, wanted to make sure that the carpet was completely dry before I put all the toys on top of it. We have a lot of open-ended type toys up here. This loft is pretty big and I have a lot of plans for it, but right now we just love having this space for the girls to use their imagination. We end up using this nugget couch and our pickler triangle and the bounce beam to make obstacle courses with them almost every week. They love it. It makes them so happy and we just love hearing them giggle up here and having a blast with all of their toys. We feel really blessed to have this space. It's definitely a huge privilege to have such a huge room for them to play in. Um, not everybody has that, so we're definitely very grateful for it. These two bins are all of the things that we decided to get rid of and it feels so good to just know that we got rid of a couple things every time we clean up a room. But I'm going to turn over to our bins where we keep most of the toys. I'm using this handheld label maker. It does a really cute stamped look and you can pick the color you have but I'm using black this time. And you just do it letter by letter and you make the label. It's super simple and I just love the way it looks. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I will 
I'll also link this down in the video description, but I wanted to cut the ends off because as much as I love this little label maker, it doesn't do the best job of cutting. So I went ahead and cut all the long ends off before I attached them to each bin. They're super easy and sticky. The thing I love about them the most is you can remove them super easy. It doesn't leave that sticky residue that some labels do. While I was cleaning this room, I was envisioning so many projects as I always do when I'm cleaning the spaces in our home that are untouched. I want to make our home custom and this playroom is still very builder grade. I haven't done anything in there except for add that furniture and the toys of course. But one day I'm gonna get in there and just make it so much more personal to our family and also multifunctional because we will be doing homeschooling in this room as well. So there's a lot that can be done. But for now, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Angel. Sing from above.